two questions after, so raise your hands, please. Uh, is that the outcome we're looking for? But, uh, thank the fans that they created a great atmosphere all day. It's great we got college game day here. It shows our follow-up programs coming. We're competing for the SEC championship and we go off to the regular season. It's out of our hands now. We still got a shot at it. You know, we need to get some help to earn a share of it at this point. So, a little disappointing. You know, they, they're a tough veteran team. We can't give Tennessee a lot of credit. We're down seven. We go through the second half. We connect some foul trouble. Just kind of carry down. Play all the guys. Just step up and make big shots. And he's able to the scoring. He was good. We didn't do a good enough job on the other guys outside of Connect. We did a third good job in Connect, but what we do is 12 and see if it was 18. Make sure it gets the big three in the corner. It was two for two tonight. You know, it was a big night. So we got to get our guys back together. You know, Florida was a overtime game here, so it's not going to be easy to win down there. I try to win two and you know, hope for a little help here this week. Start with Nick Kelly and Brett. Yeah, Nate, what do you want uh, your guys to take away from this? What was your message to them post game? Right, we made two of our last 13 field goals. We scored a field goal for about nine minutes. We got to make better decisions on the stretch. You know, I thought they were a quicker team with a lot of loose balls throughout the night. We won a championship. It's a championship all the plays that have to be made that we didn't make. And when we get a seven point lead, it's a good team. You can't take possessions for granted. I thought we threw away way too many possessions in the offensive end. So we got to learn from it. I, I think you know, they're a veteran group. I mean, look, they're, they're, every kid that play outside of the straw played less than three minutes as a freshman. Alaka is a sophomore, played less than eight minutes. Everybody else is a junior or senior, a fifth year senior. You know, they're on our list. Stevenson starting as a freshman, and should have been a senior in high school. 25 minutes, and Sam Walters, Devin Cosby, Tia Bate, Ryan Griffin's a sophomore. We're playing a lot of freshmen and sophomores. They, they, they need to grow up in a hurry. We're going to try to have a shot to win these last two and try to make a run at the SEC tournament. We need those guys to grow up and play a little more like juniors and seniors and freshmen and sophomores. But you got to give Tennessee a ton of credit. We put together a tough veteran group that figures out how, how to win games and win some tough games. You know, Tony? You kind of mentioned Darius struggling. Uh, is that more down to the, just him being a freshman, or is there another way you could attribute that to? And then have you thought about the, you know, having Cosby and uh, the way uh, Greg was playing and just thought about what he was stuff off? I mean, Gavin's playing well and hard. He hit some shots. You know, we kind of look at some other stuff on the defensive side, and defensive efficiency numbers and things. So, you know, we definitely struggled on offense late. It would be good to have man if you know, we really needed some guys that could create some advantages for us and give us better shots. And maybe he could have, maybe he could have played more and more. Pringle was great. And I think Pringle's been really good in his role. You know, he did 13 and 9. I, I thought, I really thought we were going to step up and win that thing late when he's going to the free throw line, making those free throws. I was proud of Nick tonight. Part of what Dad has been able to do in you know, some limited minutes, but you know, we'll have to see. I, you know, hopefully, we get right to the back here soon. I mean, I'll have to shake some stuff up to him. So we can use him. Scott. And they, uh, I know it's zero consolation, but I, I think you guarded better. You feel like you had before you look at the table. More than 36, they hit some key shots, but I thought you had more resistance to this. No, we did. We played a lot of hard I mean, we had them at 1.05, you know, we've been a really good team. You know, with it, connect with him and score in the league. And, you know, we, we did a pretty good job on him, I thought. You know, we had multiple guys that you know, made some tough ones later when we didn't foul. We didn't do what we were supposed to. But for the most part, you know, he goes 5 or 14. 
I thought we showed we can guard and we just hang those loose balls and so defensive, defensive rebounds that should have been 50-50 balls that we didn't come up with late that if you're gonna win a championship like we were trying to win tonight, you, you gotta make those plays and just to make enough on late. Chase, behind you. There are a couple Tennessee possessions in the first half where y'all double connect a long way from the basket outside the three-point line. I didn't see much of that in the second half, but was the idea there just to make him kind of uncomfortable and, and harass as much as you could? Yeah, we wanted them thinking about whether we were going to double or not double. You know, I'll have to go back and look to see if it worked. I mean, look, you saw what he was doing to some of the teams in the league. Like, he was just taking games over. Kind of watch a lot of NBA here and see what teams do to Guys like Steph Curry, Luca, Dan Moore, and they get going like they're almost unguardable on one. We felt like that's the way, I mean, look at the, the 25 points in the last like, 10 minutes, uh, 10 to 12 minutes, that all the game just took the thing over after all the results. So we didn't want him getting in a groove, getting comfortable doing that to us. So we, we felt maybe a little question is mine. You know, it helped get him in foul trouble for sure. I don't know if that. Traps help, the foul trouble help, combination, everything. You know, he's still in up to 13 points. You know, but he just missed some, some shots. They didn't do a great job, but he just missed some shots too. But he's really good. Uh, if we're fortunate enough to play these guys again in the SEC tournament, you know, we'll have to look and see if we thought the possession for really good tracking. On the right side. And you all turned the ball over 12 times tonight to Tennessee 6. Uh, what can you do to ensure any turnovers, but also get some turnovers for the next time? Yeah, I mean, we had we played much better on defense at points off tournament for 17 to 9. That's the difference in the game. So significantly better than the first time when it was 22. But yeah, I mean, after we got up seven, we, we didn't do a very good job early. We had three quick turnovers right out of the gate. We did a pretty good job. The rest of the I think we only had three turnovers in the next 16 minutes of the first half. We had six at the half, and then I was like, I, I'd have to go back and look, but it seemed to me when they were making that run, after they got down seven in the second half, like a combination of our just some bad turnovers and some bad shot selection. And they, you know, we, and we made two of our last 13 field goals and mixed in some turnovers throughout that stretch where we, we didn't make a field goal for almost nine minutes. So, you know, when you don't make a field goal for nine minutes, you're probably not taking the best shots and you turn them over in combination of things. Two more, Katie. How much frustration is there in ending that home SEC winning streak in this type of environment tonight? And then how, how can y'all bounce back over this last week? Yeah, we haven't lost an SEC game in two years here, so. You know, our, 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 man, our fans are great. I thought they were unbelievable for game day. I thought they were great during the game. They didn't need stops. They got loud. We just we got to make plays on the court. So uh, disappointed we, we took a loss at home. I mean, look at our four losses in the league. They're all the pretty good teams. Three of them are on the road. They don't have any bad losses to anybody at the bottom of the league. But I mean, if you're going to win the league, you got you to you win the home games. So, now we're going to have to go on the road and beat a really good Florida team if we have any chance, chance of winning this thing. So we're going to have to regroup in a short time go on the road and try to beat a team that took us to overtime by our own place. Uh, hopefully we get right to back by them. We'll see. Last one, Blake. Yeah, Coach, you just kind of mentioned it, but Mark said that one of the messages in the locker room was that the season's not over yet. There's still something to play for. Um, how do you kind of approach that when it comes after a game that was kind of built up as a championship game of sorts for the regular yeah, it's hard. We're not in full control of whether we win or not anymore. We, we, we were going into the night we had full control of whether we won the championship. Now we need some help. So we see how mature our guys are. Because we talk to them all the time, control the things you can control. What we can control now is our effort on Tuesday, our effort on Saturday. And if we're looking, you know, for help and not getting in, and that, that affects our effort, then we're not as mature as we need to be. So. We got to take care of our business. If we get some help, great. If we don't, you know, we can still get a two seed. We're certainly looking to get a bye. You know, not not to play till Friday. The easiest way to win the uh, tournament championship is to 
get the highest seed you can get. So at this point, we're playing for seeding and if we get some help, great. If we don't get any help, you know, we, we deserve to win it. We need to win this one to have full control of our destiny, whether we win the regular season or not. Thank you, Coach. Thanks so much.